glad you're here. Why don't you come on in? Baking for the Holidays with Hannah. Now I have an exciting recipe for you today and I can't wait for you to see it. So let's begin. All right, we're gonna start just by putting on an apron. I mean, this is probably the most important step in baking. You don't want dirty contaminants from your shirt all over your baking, no, no, no. And after that, we're just gonna wash our hands. cold winter day like this one, there is nothing I would rather do than turn on the fireplace, maybe put on some smooth jazz and sit in the kitchen and make some nice warm cookies. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to make some sugar cookies because Christmas is coming up or whatever holiday you prefer to celebrate. But I celebrate Christmas so we're going to make some nice Christmas cookies. Alright, starting off with all of our ingredients here, we have two sticks of butter some nice sugar, white sugar, baking powder and baking soda, uh, vanilla, lots of flour, and then one egg. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do next is set the oven to 375. While that heats up, you're going to want to move the pie that everyone forgot to eat on Thanksgiving. It doesn't matter where, just move it to a different area. For this, we're going to need a small bowl and a large bowl. These are for the two different types of ingredients that we have. Alright, in the small bowl, we're going to put in the flour, baking soda, and baking powder. I'm just going to get a spoon here and just put that all together. Looking scrumptious already. Look at that. Can you, can't you just Picture the cookie, and just taste that cookie already. Mmm. Right, next for the large bowl, we're going to put in the butter and the sugar. We're going to blend that up until smooth. Super important that your whisk is controlled by your wrist. See, by your wrist, not with your fingers or with your whole arm. You're going to get the best product if you're blending it like this. All right. On to the next step. Next we're going to put in the vanilla and the egg. Now the good thing about baking is that um, the proportions don't really matter. So let's say you really like vanilla. We're just going to put in this vanilla here. You want that little bit of extra flavor. So you know, just kind of go until it's an amount that you are happy with. Because baking should be a personal experience. And just no one should tell you how, if you're baking right, if you're baking wrong. Alright, we just want to get this really... See how this is smoothing out here? Yeah, this is the... We're approaching the consistency you're looking for. I think I might need a little bit more sugar. Look how that just rains down like winter snowfall. Alright. That is looking perfect. 
All right, next you have to very, very gradually beat in the dry ingredients. Can't be too quick. You don't want to scare away all the wet ingredients. All right, so a little bit gradually. All right, I'm just gonna keep beating this right here. Scrape the sides. See how a dough is forming? Oh, it's, just, it's gonna be so delicious and crunchy. Oh, look at that. Well, this is a recipe I've been using. It's been in my family. It's a secret recipe. It's in my family. It's my great great grandmother created it herself. Every year we make these for Christmas. I think that's ready to go onto the pan. All right, the cookies are finally ready to put onto the tray. I'm going to do this on an ungreased tray. I'm going to get my cookies. Got my cookie scoop right here. I'm just going to dig into the bowl. The first one I did was just your average cookie, but if you want to get a little fancier with it, which I'm feeling pretty fancy today, so let's put this right here like this. You just you smooth that out a little bit. Then I'm gonna punch it with the squirrel cookie cutter that I have here because nothing says Christmas like squirrels, obviously. So I'm just gonna push that firmly down and cut away all the dough around it. Then you just you just pick it up and put it on the tray. A squirrel. Alright, we're going to repeat this until the rest of the dough is done. With that done, I'm going to take the tray here, head on over to the oven that we preheated earlier. Be careful not to touch the oven as it is very hot. We're just going to leave that, we're just going to leave that in the oven for 15 minutes. All right, and now we gotta wait. Wow. Look at those. Well, the cookies are done and they look delicious. Good enough to eat. Mm. So that was my homemade Christmas cookies. Tune in next week for apple pie. Merry Christmas.